Hi and welcome to Majestic.cloud. I am Laszlo and in this video I will show you how to create an AWS Elastic Fire System or EFS and how to mount it on an EC2 instance. But before we do that, let's see what EFS is. EFS is a fully managed NFS file system for use with AWS Cloud Services and on-premise. The service is built to automatically scale to petabytes without user intervention. The file system grows and shrinks as you add or remove files. You only have to pay for the amount of storage you actually use. Also your data is redundantly stored across multiple availability zones in order to minimize data loss. However, it is still a good idea to set up a backup solution because you could for example delete files by mistake and in this case if you have a backup then you're able to recover those easily. It is also important to know that uh, an EFS file system can be attached to multiple EC2 instances. Now uh, I will do a short demo in this video but uh, let's see what I'm going to do. First of all I will create an EFS file system I will create two EC2 instances. I will then configure the security group for EFS access and then mount the same Elastic Fire System on both EC2 instances under uh, var www.html. Uh, then we will install Apache uh, web server and we will configure it to serve the var www.html as a simple static website. And in the end I will configure one of the instances or both of them to automatically remount uh, the file system uh, upon system reboot using the etc fstab uh, configuration file. So let's start. If you didn't use uh, EFS before this is the screen that you will get uh, from AWS. And here you have the option to create your first file system. And I will click uh, on this option, create file system. Uh, you need to se select the VPC in which one you want to create your uh, file system. I will choose default as this is the only one in this account. Uh, here you can um, create the mount targets for each um, availability zone and uh, AWS offers you some automatic options here. I will choose uh, next step. Here you can set up things like the tags, uh, lifecycle management uh, because uh, EFS comes with uh, built-in lifecycle management and in this way you can um, uh, set up uh, some rules uh, for what to happen with your files after a certain amount of, uh, of time. Then you have the throughput mode which can be bursting or provisioned. Uh, I will keep it to bursting. Um, you can learn more about what uh, these are by clicking on this link here. Performance mode I will keep it on general purpose and uh, I will not enable encryption at this point. So on the next step we also have some uh, client uh, access options, policies and stuff like that. But I will leave here the default uh, stuff and then I will have this uh, summary screen and we will just click on create file system. And uh, usually this takes a bit of time, not that much but uh, yeah, so it's now uh, ready. The meter size is 6 kilobytes. This is my file system. It has this file system ID. This is important later when we will mount the file system. And uh, here it's still creating the mount targets. So we will wait a bit and continue then. Actually we can go and uh, create our EC2 instances. I uh, came over to EC2 and I will uh, click on launch instance. Uh, here I select uh, Amazon Linux AMI, T2 Micro, it's fine, I want to launch two instances. Here everything will be the default. On security groups I will want to use my existing security group. 
and then I will use my new key pair and launch instances so these instances will launch and then uh, we will go uh, login via SSH and mount the Elastic file system we created uh, previously. My instances finished launching. Now I will uh, connect to each of them. The first one here, I will copy the IP address and um, I will use git bash to connect um, SSH. EC2 user and I will paste the IP and it should work, yes. Now um, I will create uh, the directory which I will want to uh, set up as web root and as the um, EFS uh, mount point and that will be var dub 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 html oh i have to use sudo okay so now it's that's done uh, let's go and uh, see uh, the mount instructions here on this screen on efs you see the Amazon EC2 mount instructions from local VPC. If you click on it, it will present you with some uh, mount instructions. And because I'm using uh, an Amazon Linux EC2 instance, uh, I only need to install the EFS mount helper and the command is here. Uh, if you don't use uh, the EFS mount helper, you can uh, use NFS utils um, but this is the easier option the first one so let's go back here and install the EFS utils okay so it installed now before we mount the file system we'll go back to EC2 and on the security group which is attached attached to the instances this is the default one i will uh, need to create an inbound rule for nfs and basically here i will add a rule for nfs and uh, the source will be the security group itself so the default security group Let's save it. Okay, now I should be able to mount my um, EC2, uh, my uh, EFS uh, file system. And here I have the instructions for um, the EFS mount helper. I will copy this part here because this uh, last part is the directory where you want to mount it. And there I want to use the different one. Uh, let's paste. And here I will want to use var www html and it should be as easy as that. Okay, now it's done. I will um, now go and create uh, an index file there. So Let's go to cd bar develop html. Let's clear the screen and issue touch index.html. Oh, I should use sudo. Okay, so now I will. edit it and uh, let's go to insert mode and I will say here hello from EFS and save the file let's see if it's saved it 
saved okay now I will install uh, Apache install HTTPD yes um, sorry I forgot sudo yum install okay I will start the sudo service HTTPD start okay now if I go back um, and copy my IP address from here and I paste it in a browser I have a web server working here on this IP address of the first server which has hello from EFS so this index HTML that we've created here is stored on the EFS file system now we will go and mount the same file system um, on the second instance and um, for that I will first copy the IP address and let's go here I will use SSH to uh, log into this instance as well okay now I will create the directory we need okay I've created it and now I will want to mount the file system there let's copy this command and go back here and also specify that we want this file system to be under var www.html oh I forgot to install the um, EFS utils so this happens if you forget it okay so let's try the command again and it uh, succeeded let's change directory to var www.html and if I issue this command I can see that I already have an index HTML here and let's see what's in this index HTML you can see that it's hello from EFS so this is the same uh, the same um, file system as on the other uh, machine let's just uh, demonstrate that again by creating another file this will be index.php for example and if I go back to the other window on the other server if I issue this command uh, then you see I have the index.php so they share the same file system now uh, I will also copy the IP address again and open this one again and oh I don't have Apache installed let's install Apache okay let's reload and I have also hello from EFS I have two servers serving the same um, the same uh, content from the same elastic file system now in, in a real life scenario you could put a load balancer in front of them and um, uh, serve the the content from the same uh, elastic file system using multiple servers uh, this is a good scenario uh, and uh, probably I will uh, do a video on it uh, sometime in the future on how to set up uh, WordPress on an EFS um, um, file system and serve it uh, in a uh, highly available um, mm, setup but uh, for now let's go and um, also set up the instances to automatically remount the file system upon reboot because right now if I reboot this instance uh, this mount command that I've issued here um, this one uh, will lose its effect uh, I would need to come in and issue it again but I don't want to do that so what we want to do is uh, 
uh, edit the um, um, following file so sudo v etc f stab and um, here we have already have some options but we will add uh, another one so let's switch to insert mode and uh, add here the following let's uh, mini uh, make this smaller so I can see the file system ID because that's important so it will be like this FS and uh, E337 um, D263 uh, this one here this is my file system ID and then this and also I want to specify the directory where I want it to be mounted also what type of uh, file system it is and some additional options that are required here okay so this should be it let's save this one and now um, let's reboot this instance and see if it works this is the first one instance state reboot yes reboot okay so it went down for reboot I will wait for a bit and uh, resume the video when it restarted let's connect to the instance and I'm now connected and let's change directory to var .html and issue an ls and you can see that my file system is mounted because if it were not mounted I wouldn't see these, these two files here so basically this is it this is how you create an EFS file system how you mount it on EC2 instances and how you configure it to be automatically remounted on the file system um, upon system reboot and then uh, yeah I guess this is it I hope you liked the, the video uh, if you did please uh, subscribe to the channel give it a like and share it uh, and I hope to see you uh, in the future video have a great day.